Hi everybody, my name is Terry Sproul and I want to welcome you to my studio. I am starting a little early because they've changed things around here again. <sighs> Frustrates me. I know they try to make things better, but I wish they would like send me emails and say, hey, we've changed things. I don't know how to get in from the events that I schedule for the day. I don't get it. I wish somebody would tell me how to do it because I don't understand it. And I'm seeing that for some reason it's not letting me put on the questions and answers tonight. I can't. I don't know why. It says this feature is being disabled. <laughs> so guys, I'm sorry. Be patient with me. And, um, you know, I'll just do my best to answer your questions after the show or over on, um, uh, you know, over on Facebook or something like that. Should be no problem, hopefully. So again, I'm sorry, I don't know what to say, but I am live now over, because I see that right now over at um, uh, YouTube, so good. So I'm going to also put that up over there on Facebook and let everybody know. Um, so again, I'm sorry about the confusion, but I am excited. I got all kinds of fun stuff going on right now in my life. Um, let me get back over to you guys. So, again, I apologize. Um, what's going on? Um, CHA's in a couple days. I'm so excited. Um, and as far as next week goes, as you know, I will not be here on Tuesday next week. But what I've done for you is if you go to my blog, which is terrysprow.blogspot.com, you can get next week's class. And it's actually already on YouTube because that was another thing they changed. Two weeks ago, I could schedule a video to pop up, and now I'm not allowed to schedule a video. I don't know why. So I'm sorry, guys. Be patient with me, and I just apologize for those, um, those little problems. But I will learn, I promise. I'm hoping actually somebody from YouTube will be at uh, CHA that I can sit and talk to them for a little while. So I'm going to give it just a few more minutes before we actually start on our art journal tonight. And I do want to do a tiny bit of review tonight because we're getting a lot of new people. So I do plan on doing a little bit of review on that. So hopefully that will help you guys out on um, for you new people who have joined me and haven't been doing the art journals all the way along. So um, I kind of feel like I'm talking to myself, but... I'm sorry, I can't get any questions here. Let me see if I can see if I'm getting them over on YouTube. So, I'm not seeing any comments over on YouTube yet, so that can mean one or two things. Either YouTube is acting up again, or nobody's talking to me yet. <laughs> so, um, Joe's not with me tonight. He is getting packed for CHA himself. He's leaving early, early, early Thursday morning. I'm leaving early Thursday morning also. Oh, but the 21st, that's not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after that, that's going to be CHA preview day. Yay! You guys love when I do that. So I will be bringing all kinds of stuff home from CHA and showing it off to you. So make sure you come to visit me on that day. So we won't be doing an art journal that night. So we will just strictly be a show and tell night. So hope you don't mind. Um, usually it's not a big problem because people wanted to see what, what was at CHA anyway. So it <laughs> works out really well. Um, so that's what we're doing there. So I did leave you homework for next week and I did a really cool page um, for you that I use pouring medium. So that's one of the things I don't know that you should go out and get yourself at Michael's this week is a product called Pouring Medium. It's by Liquitex. And I actually have two videos to show you on how to two different techniques on how to do it. But this is the art journal page. And yes, it is very glossy because the technique with the pouring medium is actually like kind of like a caustic. It kind of has a very um, like wax, like I put wax over the whole thing. Um, look to it. So this is actually the, the page that you will be learning in the video. 
So it, it turned out really cool. I really, 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 really like the way this one turned out. And so I hope you guys enjoy it too. Okay, we've got a few, got a, quite a few vi um, viewers popping in now. So just for you guys who've popped in real quick, I started just a few minutes early because there was new Hangout has changed again. I can't figure out how to get into my scheduled Hangout, so I had to start a new one. I don't get it. I, I don't get it. And then the, um, the questions and answers for some reason is also down, so I'm not sure what's going on there. So I apologize. If you do have questions on anything I do tonight, remember to catch me over on Facebook and join my group, All Things Terry Sproul, on Facebook. So that's the, what's going on there. Um, tonight we are going to do a, a, a art journal page and then I'm also going to do a tiny bit of review. I'm not going to go majorly into it be because we've got a lot of new people that I want to help out for the new people that are coming in. And actually, you know, reviews doesn't hurt anybody, to be honest, including me, including myself. I, I like when I go to classes and sometimes I hear things and I go, oh yeah, I forgot about that, you know, so hopefully Maybe the review will do everybody good. Okay, what else? Um, again, CHA. Um, next Tuesday, no class, but there will be a video on my um, um, on my blog, which is terrysproul.blogspot.com. And there's actually two videos up there, so you will have um, a project from me while I'm gone. And then the following Tuesday, which I believe is the 21st, we will be doing CHA preview, everything I bring home from CHA to show you guys. And hopefully for some new sponsors. That'd be really fun. Don't know, cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have so much fun. I'll put lots of pictures up. So anyways, I'm going to change cameras. We're going to do a quick review, and then we're going to get playing tonight, okay? So hold on here as I change cameras. There we go. Okay. As far as a quick review, I wanted to start off talking about journals. There's lots and lots and lots of journals out there um, that you can, you know, get for yourself. Uh, this is the new one from Ranger. I I like it. I do have a few complaints about it. I will be completely honest with you guys. I've had some bleedage, bleed through on, on the journal because that's actually the one I'm using right now. This one right here. I have had some bleed through on some pages. This did break almost immediately. But I am going to talk to um, Ranger when I'm there at CHA and ask them because I'm hearing that this is, a, this is not, that I might have got a bad journal. So I don't want to completely knock these journals yet. I like a lot of things about them. I like the flat fact that it lays flat. Um, I like the little pocket inside. I like the fact that I'll eventually get the cover, make something pretty on the cover. So there is a lot of good things about this journal. They come in two sizes. Um, if you are interested in purchasing them, they do have them on alteredpages.com. This is another journal that I would highly recommend, and it is from um, Stratmore. And it's called the Visual Journal. And what I really like about this journal is it's a 140-pound weight um, paper in it. So I, when I used this journal in the past, I used a big one. Um, I didn't have hardly any bleed through at all, even when I really saturated the pages. The only thing I think I don't like about it is actually the spine. I, I like the fact that when you open up, um, say, this journal, when you open up to a two-page spread, it is a you know it is a complete complete um, image. You know it's one. I like that. I have to admit, but you know to each his own. You know I like that that it's all one big beautiful page. So if it's kind of up to you what you want to buy. The thing that I would suggest though is look for something that has really thick paper. The higher the poundage of paper the better quality the paper is and the more medium it can hold. I actually get this one, you can find it at Michael's, you can find it at Hobby Lobby, you can find it at Dick Blix. And I do a lot of Dick Blix online. Um, but get yourself a nice thick, and this does have you know a decent cover on it, and you know it's a nice, nice, nice book. Have nothing to say bad about it. Um, a couple other things that I would suggest is 
Um, stays on ink pads are almost a month, a must because of the mediums that you use. You need to have a permanent ink. The other permanent ink that works well is Indian ink. This particular one is from Stuart, Stuart Superior, and that is S T E W A R T Superior.com. A a pen that writes on every medium. That is one of the things that I had the toughest time finding. And I finally found this one and I would highly recommend it to you. And it's called Scarlet Lime. S-C-A-R-L-E-T-L-I-M-E dot com. You'll find them. They're like $1.99. And when I purchase, I purchase three or four of them, and then I get them sent to me, and they're just nice, deep black. They write over um, all kinds of mediums. I have not had a problem with this pen at all. Highly recommend it. Um, other things, um, sprays. And there are a lot of different kinds that I talk about. These are the dilutions. Dilutions and... Um, uh, distressed inks, you got to remember, are always wet unless you heat set them, so they can work differently, and you got to be careful. Um, gelatos are wonderful; these are Fiber Castells. Getting yourself some masks and some um, stencils are a must. And here's another one. Oh, and I got you guys a great special tonight. I am talking to the um, the wonderful author of this book, and she has allowed me to give you guys all the CHA special on this book. You can get this book right now for twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. It's a great deal, and it's basically the new ultimate guide to the perfect word. If you're like me, I honestly the hardest part I have in um, when it came to scrapbooking, making cards, art journaling. I have a tough time with words. So this book honestly has saved my life. And what it is, it's a book full of all kinds of ideas for words. So if you want to look up something like ducks, because you and your kid went to the duck pond that day, look at all of these ideas that she has. It starts up here, goes all the way down, and up here, just on ducks, <laughs> okay? You will not be disappointed on getting this book. It has over, I know, oh, over 50, oh no, that's the first one. First book had a lot of them sold. I know there's, there's a number on here somewhere that says how many different words are in here. But anyways, wonderful book. If you go to my Facebook page, there's actually a link. And the um, website is Ultimate Book company.com you have to do it within the next two weeks to get the CHA special for 20 bucks okay the other thing I want to talk to you guys about which is a quick review is um, talking about gesso and these type of journals these type of journals I do because they're hand sewn here I like to seal my my um my my spine I guess the um, what do I want to call that the um the spine I guess I don't know what else to call it but I put a piece of tape over it. this is masking tape and I'm not gonna gesso the page for you I cut that off or rip it off usually and then I go in with gesso gesso just to let you know what gesso is gesso is basically a primer and it's G E S S O. You can get this at any art supply store, any Michaels, any Hobby Lobby. You do not have to buy the big one. But once you start doing a lot of art journals, you'll want the big one. I think I bought this big one last summer, and I'm down to about a quarter of it left. <laughs> so basically, it's a primer. And what it does is it seals your pa your pages, so it, it would prevent leakage from coming through like this, or if I want to cover that up, this will cover it up. So that's gesso. The other thing I think it's almost a must to have in your um, arsenal for doing art journals is a product called Gel Medium. Gel, or or see how it says right there, Golden's Gel Medium. And this is regular gel matte. You do want matte, not glossy. Make sure you get to the, the matte. 
I'm not saying you don't need the glossy. You can use the glossy for other things, but the match, we do transfers with this, we do gluing down with this, we do sealing with this. This is probably my most used prod, um, product in my studio. You can kind of tell because it's got paint all over it. Must have in your, in your arsenal. It does not necessarily have to be golden. I admit, I really like Golden's products. They're very good products. So get that. And then after that, it's just basically having fun and doing different stuff. I try to teach you guys something new all the time and introduce you to new products. When I do introduce you to a new product, I try to introduce it two or three times so that you're not buying a product and not using it, you know, only using it once because that to me is a waste of my money. <laughs> and I don't want to waste my money. Okay. We're going to start playing now. Now that I chit chatter for a whole 10 minutes, I'm going to use Dilutions tonight. And I'm starting off with the lightest yellow I have. And it's called um, Lemon Zest. And I have talked to you guys. Make sure you keep your caps on. And I'm going to explain that in a minute. And what I'm just going to do is give it a good background color. Nothing fancy. Just want to get some color on there. I always take my. Um, and clean off my little sprayer there after I'm done and then put my cap back on. That's my hint to you because if you've ever had one that starts spraying all bleh, it's because some ink's dried on there and then you end up having um, you know some ink drying it's not spraying very nice for you. Just so you know prior to you guys getting here I did gesso this page so it has been gessoed and I did tape the um, center. Now I have been so excited, where did I just put them? To use these. A couple right oh there they are. I pushed them off to the side. Sin City Stamps has the coolest new masks for gears. <laughs> so I have kind of a um, my theme for tonight is going to be um, live in the moment because that's my my New Year's resolution. I don't necessarily do resolutions that are like, you know, I'm gonna lose 10 pounds or I'm gonna I don't know get published or whatever. You know, those those are good resolutions. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just kind of one that I want to do something simple this year. So this year's resolution is going to be live in the moment. So that's what this page is going to be about. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking some of these wonderful masks from Sin City Stamps and I am placing them on my background. And these are all just really cool looking gears. Okay, I kind of like that. Now I'm going to take the next dilution. I have three dilutions on my desk right now. And so basically I'm going to go up in color. So I'm going to use this lighter one. Or the, I should say, I started with the lightest. Now I'm going to go one color up. And this one is Pure Sunshine. I love these colors, name, the names of these colors. I think they're just so much fun. And if my book wasn't so wonky, that wouldn't have happened. That's okay. The one bad thing about the book right now is it's really starting to get a little out of hand, but all in a good way. Paper towel, just to dab off the extra. And I'm going to move those. So now I've got just a little bit down back there, and that's kind of what I was after. And I want to go over it again, but I'm going to go over it with just a little darker color this time. So, And I think I'm going to try to do this just one page at a time and see what happens. Since my book is getting so out of control, I'm going to grab a piece of paper. And cover this page and just spray this side only so I can get the, the images a little better and this time I'm using squeezed orange juice so there's that 
And again, my paper towel. And take those off. So now I have three layers going, but I need to do this side real quick. Three layers of my gears and colors going in the background. I am so excited about CHA next week. I cannot wait, guys. I have some really cool events um, planned for myself. I'm going to a blogger event. And um, so I'm really excited about that. And I'm going to quite a few classes. I'm going to one with Faber Castell. So I'm excited about that because we know how much I love their stuff. I'm going to quickly dry this. Okay, I'm liking that. And you know, I have some gelatos on my desk, so I'm going to use them. Gelatos, if, um, for you guys who are new, these are from Fiber Castell, and they're a water, basically a um, water pencil or a water crayon, basically. They're crayons, and they come in this tube that is like lipstick or chapstick. And you can use them in a couple different ways. You can just put them directly onto your page like I'm doing here and then take your finger and just rub and get a more richer color. Or if it is too much, the color is too intense, you can come in with some water and water them down and they become you know, more like a watercolor and you get a little less um, intensity. It's all just kind of what you want. I'm looking for a little more intense right now, so I am going for it right around the edges. This is a great artist tip. I think I've talked to you guys about this in the past. When you need your page to become more um, become more one, if it doesn't look uniform, this is a great way to make it look uniform by taking a dark color and putting it around the edge. You see Tim Holtz do this all the time. He takes his distress inks and he goes around the edges in, usually in a darker color. And that what it does is it ages the page and it also takes your eye as the audience. The, and that's our job as, as an artist is to force our audience to see something on our page, to see what we were trying to achieve. And um, whatever we're trying to achieve, you want your eye to go to that. You want the audience's eye to go to that. And this is one way to get the audience's eye to go to that. See the difference just on one page to the other? Or here, this is more intense. And look how, how everything's really popping. Now look at this side. That's not a bad looking page. It's a little more su subdued. It's, it's nothing wrong with it. But your eye didn't go anywhere. It kind of wandered. Sorry about the camera going in and out there. It does that because it's... um. It's forced to uh, has um, auto autofocus, so I'm just going to real quickly go around this edge, and get this done. And again, if you just came into the room, I will be gone next Tuesday over at CHA. If you don't know what CHA is, CHA is a Craft and Hobby Industries um, show. This is basically a show where the people that buy for Michaels go and um, purchase for the whole year. So this is our big, big industry craft show. It's a big trade show. Really like the way that looks. And I'm going to it. I leave on Thursday. I come home um, next Wednesday, but I'm actually going house sitting, so I won't be home for a few more days after that. Now, I want to use, this is my line of stamps from Sin City Stamps, and when I originally made this set of stamps, it was set to be a clock, but they're Roman numerals, so you can do a lot with these Roman numerals. This is a great set of stamps, and you don't necessarily have to get them on wood. I did because I was um, doing a class, and I really needed them on wood, but normally I buy all of my stamps um, unmounted. And I'm going to be grabbing some stays on. 
And you can get these stamps over at SinCityStamps.com. And there is a link on um, my blog for that too. So there's that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I, I pulled out every single color stays on ink pad I have. And I plan on using every single color tonight around my edges. <laughs> I don't know why, I just thought I'd try it. So be a little patient with me here. This was my vision. And these are really, really fun stamps. They have a very um, uh, distressed look to them. They are quite large, which is one of the things I like about them. And you definitely could do a clock because I have all the um, the hands on that same plate of stamps. If you go over and buy a plate of stamps, and I know I can't answer questions tonight, so if you don't know what a plate of stamps is, basically when a um, a stamp company makes stamps, they they press a plate. They they purchase they put all their stamps onto a, a like board for lack of a better word and then they take that board and they press that board into the rubber and make a plate of stamps so if you've ever seen a plate of stamps they come and it's a full sheet and you have to cut them out to use them and that's this whole sheet oh this one's drying out I need to re-ink this one this is my purple. I do. I have a few that I need to get. Oh, eh. I need to reach. My purple's almost dry. Bummer. But um, that's basically how um, how they do a, a plate of stamps. So when you get a plate of stamps, you do um, have to cut them apart. And the plate of stamps that this comes on actually does come with, uh, actually I got enough of that on there, uh, hands, clock hands, and um, some extra, actually a few other extra stuff like gears and buttons and stuff like that. So really fun stuff. Or at least I think so. Maybe I'm a little biased. Okay, I'm a lot biased. I don't know if this yellow is going to show. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. Why not, right? Oh, it did. And I really kind of like it. It's even better. Yeah. Okay. like that a lot. Love when stuff like that happens. Okay, what color? I'm gonna go back to get the red again. I'm gonna pull this around to me just for a second so I can get a couple more pieces in here. That's okay. You know, you guys know me. I don't stress when I get don't get a perfect image. It was meant to be that way. <laughs> Okay, I like that. And I do want to do a hand, though. I think I'm going to do that. Oh, sorry. Out of camera there. Let me move all this stuff out of my way so I can be back in camera. There we go. I think I kind of like that. Hmm. I think I'm going to do that in black. Okay. Oh, I like that. Okay, hold on. Now I need to do that again. <laughs> Isn't that funny how you like it? It's like, oh no, I got to do that more. Oh yeah. I love. You know, it's funny. 
I actually kind of do pages in my head when I do art, or not necessarily pages, but all of my art I kind of do in my head first. And I kind of like think about it and think about it and think about it, and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, now I got to go do it. And this is turning out even better than I envisioned so far. <laughs> I love when that happens. And this is set up, you see the little dot? And there's a dot on the other one, so you can actually line them up. That was in the plans when we made them. So I love, 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 love. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's even better than I imagined it. So happy. Okay. Hold on here just a quick second. I need to grab my um, letter stamps. I forgot to grab them prior to starting the class, so I apologize for that. And I am going to write live in the moment. So I've got a group of letter stamps here, and I am going to use, hmm, I kind of really like that color, huh? I think I might use that yellow. And that's funny, because that's the one that I thought wouldn't work. How funny is that? Let me get these all out of my way and closed. So hopefully nobody's had any questions yet. I apologize, I can't get anything to work tonight. And I'm just doing that to really quickly, just so everything is out of my way and is dry. And if anybody gets a chance to go and find out how to, I know how to schedule a Hangout, but I do not know how to start a Hangout after I schedule it. So if anybody wants to help me with that, I'd appreciate it, because I looked for an hour tonight and could not find where it was. It's so frustrating. I learned how to schedule it, but I don't know how to... I'm just turning this towards me because we all know how bad I am about stamping upside down. Okay, let L, I. Oh, how convenient. Um, there's my E. Let's see if I can find my B. Live. E. Yeah, I have to, to think when I my spell because I'm so bad at it. N I N there's N I just had the I H I I N So look how good that's looking so far. And you know, look at all the different colors in the inks. That's because I didn't clean my stamps. <laughs> I know, it's really actually bad because my yellow ink pad now is completely like destroyed. So I'm going to have to fix that later. And how I'm going to attempt to fix it is I will take a, uh, like a baby wipe or something and I will clean off as much as I can off the top. And then I'll re-ink it and hopefully I'll save it. If not, guess what? I'm buying a new one because I messed that one up and using that for my junk one. Okay, M. Live in the M O M E N T. Oh. It's moment. M O M E N T, right? God, now I'm totally drawing a blank on how to spell moment. <laughs> oh my god. 
I don't want to spell it wrong. I know I'm going to be wrong. So I'm going to look it up in this book. <laughs> God, go ahead. Everybody laugh at me because I'm laughing at me. You know why? Because I'm questioning myself. M-E-N-T. See? God. Oh, quit questioning yourself. E How funny. I know. I know. You're all laughing at me because I would be. N. Okay. Last letter. T. Where's my T? Where's my T? Moment. Okay, I like that. See, there's me living in the moment, not worrying about the fact that I can't spell. Isn't that looking good so far? I love the gears in the background. They're subtle, but they're there. I like it, I like it, I like it. Now, I happen to have some washi tape on my desk that has clocks on it. It's kind of cool, so I'm going to use it. And I have talked to you guys in the past about this. If you're using stickers or washi tape or all kinds of different things as far as that goes, um, I almost always, well, not almost always, I always glue them down with gel medium, which I will do here in a second. And the reason I like to do that is if I put the gel medium over them, I know it's never going to lift off. As most of you know, washi tape, as much as we all love it, is not the stickiest tape in the world. You know, it's really meant to be, it's not really meant to be a, a really, you know, sticky type tape. It's not really meant to be. It's really meant to be decorative. So that will lift eventually on me, and I want my journal to last a little longer than that, so... I will be putting some gel medium over it, but I also want to put some gel medium or put some over here. That's another thing that I've talked to you guys about in the past. When you do something, and I'm not saying you you always have to follow rules, okay? Because as far as I'm concerned, rules are meant to be broke, especially in art. But it's always nice to know the basics of the rules, and then you can always um, understand why your page might not be the way you think it should look and it could be because uh, the rule being broke and what I was getting to was because I put washi tape over here I am going to come over here and also put some and that's to balance the page out to make sure that the two pages look like they are meant to be one that they're not just oh I did this over here and I didn't do it over there you know I wanted to become one and another way I'm going to do that is they're kind of standing out just a little too much for me right now. So what I'm going to do is take a gelato and kind of go over them. And this is going to help pull some of that color out of them and make them a little more blending into the background. Because they are just a little too brown and my background is kind of orange and yellows as you see. So that's another really good tip that you'll see a lot of artists do when they put stuff on top of their page. They come in with, um, and you could do this with paint also. You could come in with paint, or I'm using gelatos because they happen to be on my desk, and I've already used the gelatos once on the page. So I am continuing the same theme and the same color um, family. You understanding that, hopefully? If you do have questions, again, because of my difficulties and the fact that I can't get it to work tonight, catch me over on Facebook and I will do my best to answer your questions. I can't stay up really late tonight because i got to go pack for CHA. I'm leaving here when or Thursday, first thing in the morning. Okay, I like that better, much better. Now I am going to go over it with um, some gel medium. And I'm just taking a paintbrush. I did have my paintbrush in water, so I am taking most of the water off of it because you don't want to have a lot of um, water on your paintbrushes. 
for you guys who are new, while I'm finishing this up, I do a um, a a prize every single time I do a class, and I do it to. This is how you can enter to be in the prize, and I do have a winner for tonight. To be a winner, you have to take and post your journal page that you did that is inspired by mine. Now hear that word, inspired. I'm not telling you that you have to do a page that looks exactly like this. I would never tell somebody to do that. But if and I'm not but you can do exactly like this if you want to. Do what you're inspired to do. This is my motto for this year. So that's why I wrote mine out. So I'd like you to do your motto. That would be my homework assignment for you. And post it on my group page in Facebook called All Things Terry Sproul. And everybody who puts a um, page up during the week in between, I put them into a random drawing and pick one name. And tonight's winner is Andy Annie Squire. Annie Squire, congratulations. You're my winner tonight. Please send me your address. And I know that you are in... I believe in either New Zealand or Australia. I can't remember which one it is off the top of my head. Oh, oh my God, I almost forgot. Danielle, happy birthday, Danielle. Sorry, Danielle. See, I remembered. <laughs> Be patient with me, um, Annie, on how I get you your package. As you know, it's going to take a little while, and I'm leaving for CHA here in a little while. So I am pretty happy with that page. Let me see if I can get the um, Zoomer thingy to come in. And... I'm going to zoom in on some of that for you. Now this will dry a little less shiny because it still has the, um, it's still wet, the gel medium still wet. But you see the original gears that we put back there and how the layers of colors came on. I am just moving this around. Show you the whole page in detail. Isn't that looking cool? Look at that. I love the way that looks right there. Isn't that awesome? So I'm really happy with the way that page turned out. And I'm so sorry I didn't remember Danielle's birthday. I hope you're still here, Danielle. And I hope you had a great day today. Um, I'm going to switch cameras real quick and say goodbye to you guys. There I am. Uh, okay. And I have apologized for the background. I didn't get a chance to cover it back up. Sorry, guys. Sorry, it's a little zoomed in there. Um, anyways, I want to say thank you very much. Remember, next week, you go to my blog, which is terrysprow.blogspot.com, um, terry and your homework assignment's there. Um, and it's actually already on YouTube because I couldn't schedule it. And it is using pouring medium. And this is the page you guys will learn to do. So I did leave you homework. And then the following week, I will be back again on, I think that's the 21st, and that will be um, Sneak Peek from CHA. So it'll be everything that I bring home from CHA. I'll get to show you guys what I see. How exciting. And then I will be posting lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of pictures on my Facebook page. So if you're not friends with me personally, friend me in the next couple days. I'll do my best. I will be checking my Facebook page all the time and, you know, in between classes and all everything else that's going on that's exciting. So I'm a happy, 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 happy girl. And, oh, see, and I have very, very happy fingers. You know how I feel about that. Happy. Inky fingers are happy fingers. I want to say good night. I want to say happy birthday to, to Danielle. And I hope all of you guys have a wonderful time, and I will see you back in two weeks, 21st. Thanks for stopping in. Bye.